What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Ultimate Guide. Today we are taking a look at the Coppa eFootball Italia player packs, and this time we're taking a look at Cafu. First up, we have the right back, wing back extraordinaire, one of the most complete players in the game. I will be doing training guides for all of these players. The goal of these videos, if you are new to the channel, is to have a very complete breakdown of the card as well as the ultimate training guide, depending on your play style. Two to three variations and two to three different player builds, depending on how you like to play, whether it's possession or quick counter, or, you know, what other players you have in your squad, right? So we are going to start with Cafu, and I, we're going to have a complete breakdown of his stats, his attributes, and analyze the card, and then I'm going to have the three training guides over on eFootballDB, right? So Cafu is probably one of the best right-back slash wing-back hybrids in the game, right? And this is a very meta formation at the, or position at the moment for formations that you are going to be able to have a lot of variety in, right? So Cafu, straight away you're looking, he's got a lot of mid to high 70 stats, but he's got a lot of trainer points, right, that you can amass. So he's got 34 levels to go. Uh, it's a fairly good version of Cafu because you've got the team play style proficiency at 90. He's got early crosser, which is brilliant for this card. He's also got pinpoint crossing and weighted pass, which is huge. And he has unwavering form with, um, with the sliding tackle fighting spirit. And, of course, he also has man marking, which, as a right back, is going to be massive. Especially if you play him as kind of like a 3-5-2, as an advanced, um, you know, wing back, right? That is kind of where this card really comes into his own, okay? But straight away, lads, as I said, the big part of Cafu and any of these cards is having a some stat before you even train him up into the high 80s or else the 90s and you can see that Cafu has got 90 stamina here right so that's going to mean that we don't need to pump up his speed too much depending on how we want to train him right you don't need massive speed and acceleration like you used to before v2.4.2 uh, because the game has kind of like a catch-up now that you're able to catch speedy wingers unless they have acres of room you know it's very hard to be left for dead even if you miss a tackle right i will i would like to see that uh, changed in v2.5 which i think it will the speed will be balanced a little bit but let's crack on with the actual builds right so we're going to start with a truly offensive build okay um, this guy is just all about offense. He's not going to be, he's all about attacking down the flanks. He's not going to be too concerned with his defense, right? At, his, at, at looking at him there, right? He's a 94 overall player, okay? You're going to be probably man marking with this guy as a right back or else a right wing back, like a right midfielder, um, kind of in a deep position. His defensive stats are pretty average at that. We haven't trained anything, right? This is basically all about getting balls into the box, right? Crossing the ball in, if you've been playing a 3-5-2 where you've got really good width and still able to get back, his defensive awareness is above 70, his tackling is above 70, and his engagement is above 75. So he will automatically track back, especially if you have some good defensive capabilities yourself. If you're able to manually defend and not worry too much about having the AI let it do it for you, right? So this is probably a harder build to play with, with the way the gameplay is at the moment, okay? But I do think that you've got 90 possession here, you've got 95 sta 97 stamina, 82 speed, 82 acceleration, you've also got 80 low pass and 84 lofted pass, so that's going to kick in with the pinpoint crossing, and of course that early cross play style as well, so I think this is a really good card if you're looking for a truly, you know, attacking wing back, right, really, really, really uh, dominant attacking wing back with the stamina to get back the whole 90 minutes. If you're looking for a truly defensive build, I think this is the way to go, right? Two into passing, five into dribbling, four into dexterity, seven into lower body, six into aerial, and then defending is going to have a whopping 15. This is going to boost up his defense over 90 for defensive engagement, which is huge when you're actually standing up opponents. His awareness tackling are going to be over 85, and his aggression is over 80 at 81. He's still got the 97 stamina, he's still got the 82 speed, his acceleration takes a little bit of a hit because we haven't trained up the dexterity that high, but he still has a nice balance between his passing and his dribbling. I mean, it's a little bit of a pity that we don't have the lofted pass at 80, but we will be depending on his player skills for the rest of that. And then last but not least, right, I would say that this player is a 95 overall. This version of him is the most complete version of him, I think, for kind of if you can't pick whether you want a defense or an attacking version of him. This is kind of like a halfway in between, right? You've got the attack and the capabilities. We've got the perfect balance between offensive awareness and defensive awareness, both at 82. Speed is at 82. Stamina is still at 97. But we've also got defensive engagement at 87. And of course, the physical contact is at 75 as well as the balance at 79. So it's a perfectly balanced card. This would be one of the best cards to use if you are, you know, a very comfortable player, if you're kind of a higher level player, 
um, you know, and you need him to do multiple roles, right? If you are kind of like a possession-based player, I would probably use this version of him, the offensive version of him, and use him as a right midfielder. I wouldn't use him as a defensive right back. If you're looking for just a traditional right back, I would use the defensive version of him. And if you're comfortable switching formations and positions and you're a fairly high-tier player, then this is the one to go. It's a perfectly balanced right back, one of the best in the business. Don't worry about his acceleration. That is going to be irrelevant on this build. And don't worry about the lack of aggression either. Even though that's a key stat, this card can just do it all with the stamina. You will need to manually defend with him a little bit more. But I do think that this is a monstrous card. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another ultimate guide. Let me know if you enjoy these videos. And don't forget to check out more in the playlist. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.